Hi everyone, so I want to talk today about Windows 10 versus Windows 11 and why Windows 11 might be a selling point, finally. So it's taken me up into this point to finally say, you know what, Windows 10 is, you know, a thing of the past. And it's taken me a while to say that because Windows 11 has been really, really glitchy. You know, to the point where the desktop, you can't move the ribbon, you can't, you know, move things around, you can't customize it, things like that, like basic things. And glitchy in the sense where if if your computer doesn't have enough power, it's gonna freeze, right? So, you know, stability, ensuring that your computer is basically, you know, just tip top, that to me is more important than, you know, a glitchy computer that has more features. So that's what we've been seeing up until this point, and that's changed. You know, I will say in like about a minute or so how it has changed. But I wanna review Windows 11 and why folks, you know, should have been on Windows 11 if they haven't already. Like, what's the reason to go on Windows 11? So for me, Windows 11 should be used when you're on a new computer. It really shouldn't be one that you upgrade to. Similar to how new Mac OS's are, if you're not on the newest Windows computer, Windows 11 is gonna really just lag. Why? Because a few reasons, but namely because there's a TPM chip that it connects to. And that's that's a good thing to have. It's a security chip on the motherboard, which ensures that there's no theft that, you know, some perp won't get into your computer and, and access it. You know, along with that, there's a good bit locker key, 48 digit key, and them with the TPM chip that essentially locks your system down and guards it. So that's a good thing to have. In doing so, there's a handshake process where if your computer is not up to snuff in terms of specs, meaning if it's not a new computer, then it's going to be slow. So my point with that is if you have a Windows 10 computer that's running beautifully, don't upgrade it to Windows 11 and look for trouble with lag time and functionality, little features that you're used to on the desktop that you see like every day, every minute, right? So there's that. Now, I change course with how I feel about Windows 11. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but we have Microsoft Copilot. This actually came out in March of 2023, but it only has been till recently where the full functionality and upgrades and all the features have been phenomenal in the sense where it's been stable, Windows 11 has been working flawlessly. And so with Copilot, what is that? Microsoft Copilot is essentially chat GPT on steroids. You can use it on every facet of your computer and and it's intelligent enough to understand where you've been and it's gonna tell you where you should go based on that. So like whether it's your settings, your desktop, internet searches, you know, it's basically think about if you're asking ChatGPT, you know what, I wanna write a story, a blog, an essay, and here is the description. You can actually tell Chat, uh, excuse me, you can tell Copilot in a Siri-like fashion, hey, I want you to organize my desktop based on my most prevalent or most used icons or programs. It does it. Right? If you want to, you know, look at different websites based on, you know, what you enjoy, it'll do that. If you want to find programs based on like what you use every day, it'll do that. So it gets more into like the core of your system and programs and, you know, navigating around in your computer, things like that. Not just the internet or images or basic stuff that ChatGPT, I don't say basic, but you know, it does more in the core computer. So it's pretty cool. So the takeaway from all of this is I recommend Windows 11 for the uh, co-pilot which is phenomenal its feature alone is a selling point for Windows 11 for sure you know there's no bugs that I've seen flawless it's great but the one caveat is just do it with a new computer why so that way you can take advantage of the processing and the speed otherwise you might have bugs you might have lag otherwise I'm a big fan of Windows 11 with co-pilot but if you do have an older computer stick with Windows 10 all right um, I'd love to hear your comments Windows 10 fans Windows 11 fans let me know subscribe and we'll see you next time Thank you.